Hi, guys. You're listening to What's the Tea? I am Bob the Drag Queen, and you can watch my stand-up comedy special, Suspiciously Large Woman, on Reverie. So let the music And you're not taping any of this. Okay, go. Okay, we are here with our special guest star, Michelle. She's here. We got uh-huh. her. Bob the Drag Queen. Bob Ooh. the Drag Queen is Winner here. Winner of season eight. eight. Was it season eight? Yeah. Season eight. It seemed like yesterday. I know. Well, for me, it seemed like a long time ago. Yeah. Really? Yeah. It, I feel like... I feel like I've been doing. I think I've been traveling so much. Yeah. So I feel like I kind of also lose. Like I don't know what day it is anymore. Yeah, right. But I like well, it though. Yeah. Do, do you wake up with blood in your panties? <laughs> well, usually if, if I even wearing the panties. Yeah. That's the trick. <laughs> don't go to sleep with panties on, and you wake then you up. Don't, yeah. It's not a problem. I mean, yeah. the sheets are a mess. <laughs> it looks like an Ed Gein scene. That's but- right. Just get a black sheet next time. And you're yeah, but I'm in hotels. Who cares? Yeah, no, who cares? Hey. Yeah, you're in another town. I'll, the next. I'll like, never get my deposit it's like back. Like yeah. art. <laughs> yeah. Have you been traveling since then? Since you oh, won? Pretty consistently. Yeah. I just got back from Honolulu. Oh, really? How was that? It was fun. Did you play I went, Scarlet. I went jet skiing. I was at Scarlet mm-hmm. in Honolulu. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Skiing. It was. Really, they're having you soon. In June, I can't wait. They're, yeah, you're they're going, I've never uh-huh. been to you've Hawaii. Never been to Honolulu. Yeah, I've never been to Hawaii. Period. Oh, you're gonna get laid. Am I? Uh Oh my god! I hopefully right when I get off the plane. (laughs) Yeah, (laughs) the minute you touch ground, you're gonna get laid. Some big six foot five, someone gonna uh, walk up to you and just lay the, lay the shit hell out. Of you. Really hard and really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this club there is called Scarlet. Yes. Scarlet is really cute. I'm going back in July, so it's from. So oh, oh, really? Okay. Well, I'm gonna go back in August. Oh, yeah. Down, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <Whatever. laughs> this is a physical comedy for the podcast. Yes, yes. Yeah, that yeah, always well, works. Listen, I, I'll buy out the club from one to two. You okay, know, all right. We'll be popping bottles up in this. I'm mother. gonna sit at your table. <laughs> So what's the most exotic place you've been to? Brazil. Brazil. Brazil is my favorite place. We did, we did five cities, four cities in Brazil. Sao Paulo. Wait, so Brazil has more than two cities? At least, at least four for uh, sure that Sao I know Paulo, of. Sao Paulo, Rio. Sao Paulo, Rio, uh, Porto Alegre, and we did, Luis, was there? Bahia. Bahia. Sao Paulo, Porto Alegre, Rio. And Brasilia? Brasilia. Uh-huh. I'm just going to say one. this for the record. We've yeah. got loads of fans everywhere. The UK is a huge, really strong fan base as well. Brazil fans are yeah. by far oh, yeah. the most extra of yeah. any of our fan base. Well, the girls who come back say that when they land, uh, Juju said that, it was like the Beatles landing yeah. in yeah. America. Well, all the girls, the girls, um, Kim and Naomi were in Australia. Come on, Kim who? Kim Chi. Oh, okay. And Kim Chi, runner up from season eight. Uh-huh. And Naomi said Naomi Smalls, the other one who didn't win. Oh, and, uh, damn. I, I always say, one time we, we were backstage at a, at a show and Kim Chi was like, Bob, you sold more shirts than I did. And I was like, Kim, girl, it's not a competition. But when it was, I won. <laughs> <laughs> And apparently you're still winning. <laughs> exactly. No, but they 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 were like they're like on Snapchat every second of the day. Yes. And in Australia, they, they are so trusting. Like when you go to the Sky Lounge, they have knives in the Sky Lounge. You can just walk to the airport with. They're like, yes. Oh. Uh-huh. And a sign that right. says, "Please don't take the knives." Yeah. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Like these guys just don't. Anyway, you can walk up to the <laughs> gate. Come on, don't. They're tw- they're like Snapchatting on the plane, and then when they land, they're like, "Why are all these fans yes. at the gate?" Yeah. Uh-huh. It's like because you're on Snapchat. Yeah, uh-huh. but you know why? They know that. They love it. Too. They ain't yeah. stupid. Yeah. They do it because they love the adoration. And you mm-hmm. know what? Mm. There's there's a, a point that every girl that competes in this competition, from the first one off to the winner, they deserve that moment. Oh, sure. Of, yeah. This might be my only time on television. Mm-hmm. I'm going to soak it up while I've got it. Yeah. And that's special, I think. But yes, they create their own. I cried in Austin, Texas on the promo tour last year because of how much those fans, when I say like when I the the love they have for Cynthia Lee Fontaine in Austin, Texas, uh-huh. is rivaled only by the people who competed with her on the show because she's so the, the most lovable person. She's also a doll, yeah. Oh, I've ever yeah. in my life, and like I mean, it was I actually started crying. Why? Because you had to look at her. It was <laughs> just kidding. Cause Why? Because I, I smelled her cuckoo. Oh, uh, no, it was. <laughs> It was just, it was just so gorgeous. They were just like they were like going crazy for her, and then she uh-huh. and then you know she was uh, battling uh, leukemia or some other kind uh, it of was, uh, cancer, it was, uh, liver, liver, yeah. prostate, or or whatever wig mm-hmm. cancer. I don't mm-hmm. know what it was, mm-hmm. but she beat it, and um, and it was just, it was wild. Wow. Yeah. So have you become friends with all the other 
winners? Uh, is there like a winners circle or a club? Yeah, the old Sky Club. Well, yeah, we, we all do have a, a, a love and respect for each other. And um, I, you know, I've known BB Zahar. I used to make her dresses, her gowns. No before way. Before I was on Drag Race, yeah. You know how to sew? Yeah, I know how to sew. I saw it on the show, Michelle. Oh, you did? <laughs> it, that explains it, a lot. <laughs> well, it's you know, it's all kind of a blur, you know. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. absolutely. It's, I mean, after one hundred and what now, twelve girls, one hundred and fifty beasts released into the wild. <laughs> yeah. So wait a minute, you knew BB, but you also knew the other BB. Be Bianca. I knew I knew me and Bianca did a show together before I was on. And then I knew um I knew Tyra from coming to New York a couple of times. Sorry. Um Violet, I had worked with her before. We were both on Drag Race. Violet. Violet Chosky, uh-huh. season seven. Yes, yes. Seven winner. Yeah. And, then, and did you know Jinx? And did you know I did not know Jinx. And Raja? I did not know Raja. Mm. And who are we missing? Tyra, you said. But I love I love Jinx and Raja though. Jinx might be honestly. I don't mind saying she might be the most talented out of this. She's also the like the most genuine. You couldn't have picked she a better person. Like she is truly an incredible. Well, you fall in love with her from the very first show. You You know her nodding out. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) She's so great. You do. She, she kind of has um Adele thing going on where like Adele is like 29 but she looks 45. Yeah. Uh-huh. And Jinx is like 27 but she presents as a full on 50 year old well, her but her yeah. look is her she does do a sort of a nostalgic look. Well, she yeah. calls herself, I think she said on the show she's the world's first youngest Adele. 40 40 something. I think yeah. she said uh, narcoleptic Jewish grandmother or mother yeah. or whatever she said. Yeah. Not yeah. Grandmother, yeah. Grandmother. I'm fucking it up. All of the Jinx fans are going to hate me, but you know what I'm trying to <laughs> Your say. Your phone's yeah. already... Uh, uh, they're yelling out. at me already. Yeah. So now, did you watch your season? I watched every episode. I watched every episode of Drag Race from beginning to the most to my crowning to oh. All Stars. Oh, okay. So you saw the blurry season then. Oh, yeah. I saw, <laughs> I, I saw the full on... <laughs> When they, when they filmed it through Snapchat. Yeah. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Wouldn't it be great if we did on season 10 a f- Snapchat crown filter season? Oh, my God. That would be great. Yeah. That would be great. But, you know, that's before we had a budget. So we had to put a little Vaseline on the, on the lens. You you know? All about it. Yeah. So having watched your season, what did you learn about yourself that you didn't know before? Well, I mean, I've always known I talk a lot. <laughs> I, I talk. I've always been a chatterbox. Um, so I, I've learned to listen more. I even got, you know, backstage when you're talking too much, the, uh, the, 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 they, the, the team, they say hard ice, which means stop talking. Like oh, the, uh, TNA, the T, yeah, the T, the what is it, PA? It's the PA, a PA. The yeah, production the, Yeah. And I even got a tattooed here on my hand, hard ice. Oh, like, girl, you are kidding me. You don't have to talk all, so I'm like, hard ice, girl, you don't have, you don't have to talk. So is that hard ice tattoo to remind you to shut the fuck up? Sometimes, yeah. But uh. I thought that was, to me, as a judge, the mean judge i thought that that was one of your charming things because you would laugh you would even if i was giving you a critique you'd some it wasn't an excuse but you'd somehow talk yourself <laughs> out of the reason why and i'd be like look girl i see what you're doing but you're funny you're still funny you I know love talking. yeah but there was talking and then there was when i called you out for a moment there's a line between that and, and showboating mm-hmm. when you look back did you see the difference? The showboating? Uh, yeah, I mean, when, in, in hindsight, and when you see it, especially when it's edited down, so, like, without, when they take all the fat out, mm-hmm. right. it's just moment after moment after right. moment, then, yeah, you can see it a lot more then, yeah. I, and I, I wouldn't call it, you know, at that moment in, in time on the show, what happens is you want all the people, like, Ru pulls out the five or six that are on the stage. Mm-hmm. You want them each to have an equal time. And, and what bothers me, what I consider the showboating moment, because really I don't know what you're doing back there in the workroom and everything else, is when somebody else is trying to talk and you're still jumping in and then somebody else is trying to talk and you're still jumping in because mm. it feels like you want it to make it about yourself. But then again, I think if that were me on that stage and I only had that moment to impress mm-hmm. the judges, mm-hmm. I'm going to make it all about me. <laughs> Right? Wouldn't you? <laughs> well, it depends. It, I'd ha- you'd have to see where, um, where, what the right level of that is. You know, um, I don't remember. Um, I don't remember you. all I feel like I'm meeting you for the first time. You don't remember yesterday. I don't remember yesterday. <laughs> I don't remember yesterday. Well, hi, but... my name is Wayne Brady. <laughs> <laughs> so, having watched yourself, you, so you you learned that you talked. Too much? Is that what it is? A lot. I'm I'm boarding on too much, but I just honestly, but talking is what got me all the way to where I am today. Yeah. I love it's that the talking. You talk a lot. Like if I if I just stop talking, I mean, who the hell would I be? It's the talking. That Tyra. Made... Exactly. No, exactly. <laughs> Tyra Sanchez. I'm kidding. That was just a good punchline. That's a joke. But, I mean, talking made talking has made me like everything I have in this world has been brought to me because I talk 
a lot. Uh huh. If it wasn't for my mouth, who knows what the hell I'd be? You know what I mean? And so, well, oh, I know that so storyline. Having seen the show, how have you changed? What What did you change about yourself having seen it? Well, I've okay. It's a fun thing for sure. I, I I've learned my makeup a lot more since the show. Yes, you, it's beautiful today. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I've learned, in full drag, full regalia. Uh huh. We were on the streets up there upstairs. Uh, I was harassing people on the streets. Uh oh. We were playing a game called um, <clears throat> Trump or Villain, where I read a quote. Is it? From Donald Trump, or was it a famous serial movie killer? Uh-huh. Oh, that's a great concept. Go on. And they never knew that. They were like, which which one? Uh-huh. Like, well, that Trump. I'm like, that was actually Regina George from Mean Girls. <laughs> <laughs> Same thing. Same thing. Exactly. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so I, I learned my makeup, and I'm also learning. Like, you know, it's the thing. Like when you have the crown of RuPaul's Drag Race. And you are, it, it is the Olympics of drag. Mm-hmm. And when you're the gold medalist, when you show up somewhere, you got to really impress the kids. You know what I mean? Uh-huh, uh-huh. So I, I just took time to refine myself and refine my, not just my look, but my acts, my comedy, my everything. Uh-huh. From the time I walk in the door to the time I leave to make it as high end as possible. I yeah. love that. Yeah. And because um, I'd seen you before, uh, I told you I was at uh, uh, Mother, was The it? Monster. The Monster. Mm-hmm. Uh, What's one, that? you know, in in Sheridan Square, right there at the uh, Christopher Club. And, it's right. a club, right? Yeah, there. right it's, at the Christopher. Oh, okay. It's the oldest club in the country, Why do uh, I by not the know way. That? You, is that what it's called? It's called the, uh, the Monster. Manhattan Monster Bar. Monster, the Monster. You I know spend all that time at Christopher Street, and I don't know what it is. You know the Monster. Okay. You, you know just, where the duplex is or yeah. Stonewall. Yes, it's right across the street from Stonewall. Oh, I didn't even know that. That's what the name is called. The Monster. Was. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, I went there one night uh, in. Incognito, mm-hmm. and it was cold outside, so I had to park and everything, and nobody was paying attention to me at all. And I sat and watched your show, and I we we tweeted each other afterwards, mm-hmm. but uh, uh, but they didn't know I was there, and it was so great and so freeing because these bitches was just letting you have it. Right? They were, and Bob was walking up and down the. Uh, she looked. She was actually running the place. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah. She was like, um. What a microphone. Uh-huh. Oh, so, okay. Uh, well, 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 Alba. And then she would walk across Did the stage. Did you see Rue, Bob? She didn't see me. She, okay. she didn't see me. And then um, at one point, and I saw the show. It was fabulous. And I'd heard of Bob before that. But uh, they they played Sissy That Walk. The DJ played Sissy That Walk. Scotty Rocks. Yeah. yeah. And I, um, I'd never heard it in a disco before. Oh, shut up. And the children all got into formation and, and made a, a runway uh, on the dance floor. So that when the do 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 boot do 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 boot yeah. when I think they all walked the <clears throat> runway, it was really an amazing I night, and I was so happy to be incognito uh, to to watch this. So uh, when your audition uh, tape came around, I said, "Oh yeah, this bitch, we got to get her on the yeah, show. Yeah, we've got to get her up in this bitch." It worked out for all of us. It worked out <laughs> it really really it well. Did. Now, did you hear from friends and people from uh, yeah, from Georgia? Uh, or people you hadn't heard from in years. I'm like, like, like high school friends, middle school friends, people I went to college with. Um, and Michelle's like, you went to college? Uh, no, I know. <laughs> I didn't want you packing with you. I did talk to you. I don't remember everything, but I do remember you to be intelligent. Um, but yeah, a lot, a lot of friends. And and um, and I've actually on the the best thing is I've gotten to travel back. I used to go to Atlanta, Atlanta once a year, uh-huh. if that. I've been to Atlanta. Five times this past year. Really? Like, I see my mom now more than I've ever seen Is your her. mom in Atlanta? My mom lives in Atlanta. Yeah. She, like, she lives down in Sh- Shallowford? My mom used to live in Clayton County. How do you not mm-hmm. remember yesterday, Which, but you remember where his mama lives? No, it's because it's a visual. I'm thinking of, I, I thought it was uh, south of, outside the perimeter, south. Yes, yeah, just saying, south. Just south of Clayton County. Not by so it's right Forest up? Park? It's right around there. Clayton County is like, Forest Park is in Clayton County, Morrow, Ellenwood, Rex, or all Mount Zion. And the Shallowford Mall is there. Yeah. Yeah. And that's where. Uh, is it a good mall? That's where I'm from. No. No. Horrible. Yeah. <laughs> Horrible. But they do have an AMC 24, a huge oh, uh, yeah. movie theater. I recently went and tried to buy my, buy my family tickets to go see Fences mm-hmm. uh-huh. on Christmas. Right. Yeah. But I accidentally, because I bought it on my phone and I'm like uh-huh. a ditz. Uh-huh. Right. I bought tickets to Fences in Arizona. Oh, oh my God. And I showed up and the The airfare like, alone <laughs> would have just. You have to pack the car. <laughs> Jesus. And the, I got the lady was like, yeah, this is for Arizona. Shut up. And I was like, oh. she goes, you can go see, what was that, that Star Wars movie, Air Force? Oh, Rogue or, One. Rogue, that was Rogue good, One. though. Yeah. Rogue uh-huh. One was good. And my mom was like, we got and I watching. Roman was like oh. a black lady from Mississippi. <laughs> so we ain't never Star Wars. So. 
out. We well. <laughs> yeah, so you didn't just buy more tickets. Yeah. No, my mom didn't want to see any other movie. She was like, I want to see Fence. I want so to see why did you just Washington. buy tickets to see Denver? Oh, it was sold out. Oh, they it was sold out. It was the day right. it came out. It was day yeah, with well, that movie, that's got it's very wordy. It's he filmed very heavy. every single word from the play. Yes. yes. Did I you eventually it. see it? Yes, I you did. loved it. It was good, but it is it is a stage production of a on play. TV, yeah. On, yeah. On, on right. And it's not, it's not spectacle. It's about the acting, yes. which right. I love. Yeah. And um, Gilbert Godfrey was interviewing Whoopi Goldberg for his podcast. And I went there and I was like, I gotta go meet Whoopi Goldberg. So they took me backstage to meet Whoopi. And then I said, Hey, Whoopi, it's nice to meet you. My name is Bob. And then I said, I gotta show you this. Cause I, I have a tattoo of uh-huh. on my forearm. Uh-huh. And they were like, Can you? The, I was thinking to myself, Do I show her the tattoo or is this weird? During the show, she mentioned that she had a tattoo of someone or someone's lyrics or something on her chest. And she showed them. Uh-huh. And I was like, This is like she just told me to show her. Uh-huh. I showed her the tattoo and she goes, Are you Bob the drag queen? And I said, yes, I'm Bob the Drag Queen. <laughs> and she goes, I know who you are. My d- granddaughter is obsessed with you. <laughs> and you, I need to call her right now. So Whoopi goes, puts out her phone, calls her granddaughter. And then she goes, oh, by the way, what are you doing this weekend? Because I'm having a birthday party in Las Vegas. You should come. Oh, uh, what? And I was, as, as I canceled a gig, I said, uh-huh. I'm doing nothing this weekend. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I go to Vegas for a birthday party. And then we get there. We're hanging out. She, she teaches me how to play blackjack. And then we're there, she goes, what are you doing on Monday? We're filming my birthday at The View. And I was like, let me cancel another thing. She's doing nothing. <laughs> and then she, and then she like gave me her number. Like, she, like so like me and Whoopi Goldberg were like, she's like, one of the, that's one of the, probably the craziest thing. Wow. That is happening. So what's, have you gone to her house? Have you had dinner? I, been, I went to her birthday party at, in Vegas. I went to her birthday party at The View. And then she invited me to Christmas, but I had a gig. I couldn't. I oh cool. my goodness. Yeah. Wow. Is it all that you expected it to be? Um, the, the, the crown? Well, yes, the crown and, and your, the your, in general. yeah. Honestly, it's more than I expected it to be. Like, you don't realize how much you mean to people. Mm-hmm. Like, you meet people who you think you don't have anything in common with, and they are just like, I mean, beyond moved and touched, and, and you really have a, a big impact on people. Yeah. And you didn't realize that you had that. It's, it's kind of, it's really overwhelming, but very humbling. I'm sure. We've got Bob the Drag Queen, winner of season eight of RuPaul's Drag Race, here live in person, in drag. Uh, can you believe it? In drag, mm-hmm. on the radio. Mm-hmm. So um, we'll be right back after this. Girl, that Casper mattress. You know, everybody wants to sleep. Everybody talks about wanting to sleep more. Well, you want to you wanna talk about getting the most restful sleep of your life? You want to talk about that? Yes. You better go go get yourself a Casper mattress, girl. My funny thing is that now, because people know it from our podcast, uh-huh. it's now the punchline for every tweet that comes my way. <laughs> what do you say? It's just always like, ba ba ba. better get a Casper mattress. <laughs> somebody just tweeted, I think two days ago, I want somebody to look at me the way Michelle Visage looks at her Casper mattress. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, I died. <laughs> Buying the Casper mattress is easy, y'all. Order online, delivered to your front door in a compact box. And you know what I think about compact I boxes. I certainly do. Free shipping, free returns, and it's available in the U.S., Canada, and now in the U.K. I saw the advertisement, or as they say over there, advertisement, uh-huh. on the tube. Considering we spend a third of our lives on our backs, well, maybe on our sides, uh-huh. sometimes yeah. on our fronts, right? on our mattress, it's important to see why uh, you have the best night's sleep and you want to know what you're committing to. Yeah. And that's why Casper gives you a hundred nights to try it for free. That's really amazing. Yeah, hundred nights. If you don't like it, send it back. Yeah. Tell them about the $50 towards any mattress purchase. You know what, Ru? I'll do that. Okay. You can get $50 towards any mattress purchase by visiting casper.com slash Rue using that offer code RU. And uh, I guess our question is, what are you waiting for? Exactly. Get there. Casper.com slash RU. Get started today. Terms and condition may apply. Who cares about them? Get yeah. yourself a Casper mattress. That's right. We are back with Bob the Drag Queen, winner of season eight, RuPaul's Drag Race. We're asking all the questions. Now, Bob, uh, you know, you've been traveling the world. Do you, do you, have you been, what's the longest amount of time you've been home to New York? I was home for a week and a half or two weeks at the beginning of the year. Wait a minute, all a week queens. and a half? Like for holidays? Yeah, it, went, yeah. No, it, was, it, was, it was right about like, like from New Year's to about did you work in New York for New Year's Eve? No, I worked in Orlando, Florida with uh, Bianca. Oh, that's right. That looked like yeah. so much fun. Yeah. 
I love her with Bianca. We have a great chemistry. Yeah, of course together. you do. So well, you said you go down to Atlanta. You've been down to Atlanta six times uh, in the past six months, something like that. In the past year has been great. What, what club is happening in Atlanta now? I did, um, where was I in Atlanta? I was at the Heretic in Atlanta. But I'm also, oh my God, I am filming. The jungle still? The, let me tell you about the jungle, oh, girl. Okay. The jungle is where I met Violet Chachki. Everybody has a violent story. Before we were on Drag Race. <laughs> but before both of you were on. Uh-huh. Yes. Uh-huh. And I met this queen with, I mean, with the smallest waist. And what uh-huh. were you doing down there before you were on Drag Race? I was uh, performing at a show called The Other Show mm-hmm. at The Jungle. I was invited by a queen named Edie Cheeseburger. Uh-huh. To do, <laughs> She's delicious. To do the show there. And um, and that's when I met Violet, which was which is so crazy. Um, before we were either on Drag Race, and I'm going back to the jungle in about a week to film my stand-up comedy special. Oh, wow. wow. Stand-up, who's filming it? For what network? Logo? Um, that was his thing. I went out and I did, I, I've been doing my research, honey. Uh-huh. I, it turns out a lot of these comedians, they film their own special. They film it themselves. Sure. And then someone will buy it from them. Right on. And I was like, you know what? I won $100,000. Yeah. I can afford to film a so special. So instead of putting up the money to do it themselves, you put up the money to do it yourself, and you collect the money, and it goes to you. Work. Yeah. Or, Work. Then, or you can film it yourself, and then someone just buy it from you after it's been done. Margaret Cho did it that way. Yeah. Like a lot of, uh, 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 who's that comedian who plays, uh, Bo Burnham did it that way. A lot uh-huh. of big comedians film their own specials, and then you just sell it to someone. Smart. I love that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to have to get a comedy special you together. You do that special? Yeah. yeah. All you have to do is really host it and get these clowns up there. Right. Do their thing. Right. And then you sell it. I love it. Who writes your material? I write my own material. Yeah. Yeah, like, like meeting these, I mean, honestly. So like, black guy walks into a bar. Well, it's like, so a black, here's a, here's a, <laughs> Let me tell you one of my favorite jokes. Please do. It, okay. I can tell can I tell dirty jokes here? Yes, we insist. We only tell dirty jokes. I mean, look here. who you're talking to. Yes. Yes, honey. We like the dirtier the better. Well, this is not a dirty joke. This one with my uh, my friend, her name is Jessica Kearson. She's a brilliant comedian. Jessica Kearson? Jessica Kearson. She's in the movie The Comedians with um with uh, Robert De Niro. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. And she told me this great Jewish joke, which is one of my all it's so short and it's so brilliant. Uh-huh. I'll tell you if it's great. And uh-huh. it just goes, um, so a waiter walks up to this table of Jewish ladies and goes, is anything okay? <laughs> <laughs> that is like my new favorite. That is, <laughs> it's I'm, so true. <laughs> oh my God, it's oh, so true. I'm obsessed, obsessed with the joke. That is yeah. funny. So now the heretic, is that at the end of of, of West Peachtree or... The, Where's Her- the, heretic? the heretic is downtown. Is it downtown? I think I'm pretty sure the heretic was is, is in downtown Atlanta. Uh-huh. Also, bear in mind when I was when I lived in Atlanta, I was very young, so I wasn't yeah. going to clubs. What years was are we talking? I lived in Atlanta from seventh grade, which was 1997 or eight, uh-huh. until I graduated high school in 2004. In 2004. And what high school did you graduate from? I went to Morrow High School in Clayton uh-huh. County, okay. which lost its accreditation uh-huh. like two years after I left. And oh, then just because of you. Back. Because of uh, my They reputation. lost the accreditation, uh, credit, accreditation because of your ass. Exactly. But uh-huh. they got it back when I left. Uh-huh. Um, <laughs> and then I moved to Columbus, Georgia to go to college. So most of my... Like adult wild years are all in Columbus, Georgia. Uh huh. Now I I may have asked you this before. Isn't that where they make the Uts chips? Do they make Uts chips? Oh, the Uts. Or is it Charles Chips or down? I, I have no clue. They 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 used to do, um. Where what city? Um uh Columbus. Uh. Oh, Columbus, Georgia is also Columbus, Georgia is. Uh, oh, first of all, Columbus, Georgia is the home of the infantry. It is the one of the largest military bases in America. It's also. Oh, where is that B? Starts with a B. Uh, be, be, Beres, uh, uh be, What's the Fort Fort? Uh, Fort Benning. Fort Benning. Fort, Fort Benning. Benning. Yes. And it's also where Wayne Brady was born. Oh, he's in Fort Benning. He, he was he was born from born in Columbus, uh-huh. Georgia, and um, it is and now at this point I think me and Wayne Brady are the two most famous. Yeah, people it's from coming Columbus, up, Georgia. huh? Coming up a lot, you and Wayne Brady. Yeah, me and Wayne Brady. <laughs> Something going on there. Yeah. So you were- I, I came in to make a big announcement about me and Wayne Brady. We, Uh-oh, here it comes. Having an illicit, what are the other chips? Uh, Utz is based Utz? in Pennsylvania. Okay, and what about Charles Chips? Charles Chips. Charles Chips. Charles Chips. Where's Charles Chips? Charles, Charles The Dolly yeah. Madison Bakery was in Columbus, Georgia. Oh, okay. Was Dolly it? Madison. And Kenneth Milk used to be in Columbus, Georgia, too. Uh. Uh, oh, he Charles said Baltimore is, is where- Baltimore. Baltimore. There was a chip- Company down in maybe it was making. Sure it wasn't the drug fuel. It could have been life. cow chips for all I know. <laughs> you know, but Poker I chips. Yeah, I lived in Atlanta from seventy six until eighty seven. I I moved away to New York in eighty four, and I stayed in New York for six months, and then that they, they kicked my ass out of there. New York is rough. And I went right back to Atlanta. I Which is when I met you in eighty seven. Eighty seven, and uh, got back to New York. 
back in 87. You were fresh and so clean. So fresh and so clean. Yeah. Oh, my God. It was the hardest, hardest part. part. It was so hard for me because it was my Saturn returns area. 87 uh, or the 84? Uh, 87. 87 on through because uh, I turned in 80s. November of 87, I turned 27. So in November of 88, I turned 28, which is when Saturn returns. But I feel like that was because of that moment. And that's when I met you. Uh huh. That's when I, you were on my radar. Who knows, who knows why? Right. Right. Me, this little, you know, girl from central New Jersey, didn't know anything about the gay community, got thrust into it, luckily. Yeah. Ne- saw you at a club. You were on your own, <laughs> double fisting with cocktails. Word. I see you from across the bar, no joke. And I'd be like, Hi. And like, there was something that drew me to Rue, not knowing him, yeah. him not knowing me, drawn to me. He doesn't know why until yeah. later on we find out. Yeah. Um, but that was why, because that was a major turning point in yeah. your life. And it's funny that because no matter how obliterated you are up in the club, yeah. the, the what is meant for you is actually there. It's yeah. actually there. Now, looking at your career now and having become uh, America's drag superstar, what uh, did you was there any premonition that told you this is my destiny? You know, child. <laughs> I, 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 I was reading a book called Magic and um, and the magic said if if you want something when it, if you want something that happens for someone else you have to be happy for them as if it happened for you right and I remember watching Bianca Del Rio win RuPaul's Drag Race and I and I cried as if I won RuPaul's Drag Race well because you guys had been so close yes uh-huh. and I, it felt like I, I like it felt, it felt real like I won I was watching in the bar and she won I was like I cried I felt like I had won it and uh-huh. then of course I ended up winning and I always tell people say, you know I, I've always been someone who believes I can do I can literally do anything so so you you knew that this was going to be your what you were going to do this is it yeah I mean I, I started after You're watching a theater season major, one you? I'm a theater major yeah. yep I watched Drag Race after season one and I was like, that looks like fun. I know, I know I can do that. Yeah. Were you doing I, drag at that point? No. No. I was not doing drag. I started drag. Not sure after. you were really doing drag on the show either, but, but <laughs> oh, <laughs> she Michelle. knows. She knows. I just Mich- won, wasn't you know what I'm saying? Michelle. She came to read. Michelle Visage. Yes. <laughs> oh, dare you. Oh my God, that's going to be the that's name. That's amazing. It's been spoken yes. and Mashade Visage. She I has been born. Mishade yes. Visage. So um, the, I didn't, you had known Bob. I didn't know Bob, but the only no in my head. I didn't know Bob. I, I knew, you knew of, of Bob. You knew of yes. Bob. Let me say that correctly. Yeah. I only knew of Bob because um, there was a party going on that some uh, some of my Velvet Mafia friends Where's wanted a party in New York, uh-huh. wanted a drag performer. And uh, I called Bianca and I said, who can I get last minute to do this, per- this show? And um, he said, oh, You'll love my friend Bob the drag queen. I was like, uh-huh. Bob? He said, No, trust me. She's a comedy queen like me. You're gonna love her. She's fabulous, funny. I mean, spoke super highly of you. Uh-huh. And that's how the only thing, and I think you did the Do you remember gig what, what gig was it? I don't remember it was. But what friends? Who? I don't remember that either. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Um, but thinking back, that's who it was. And I I think you did it, but I'm I not probably, sure. I probably did, yeah. The point is, that's all I had heard. So if when, they offered me money, I did it. Yeah, yeah of course <laughs> they did. And then Bob was on the show, and I was like, oh, this is Bianca's friend. Right. But, but that's all I knew of you because I'd been out of New York for so long. Right. And the only way you found out is because you went in Cogmore right. Row and, and saw Yeah. Bob. Now, speaking of money, what have you done with your money? Well, I did a couple Did you things. pay your taxes? I have paid my taxes. Good okay, good. I'm girl. In the, in the girl, did I get a gag at taxes? Honey. It's honey. to the real world. Gag. Oh, honey. 40%. Oh, yes. yeah. 40%. It's a full. You're the 1% now, honey. It's yeah. a full gag. Yeah. yeah. Um, also, I bought my mom a car. Oh. Aww. Yep. I bought my mom a car, and um, I know I'm funding my, um, my, my stand-up special. Yes, good, yeah. good. But you're out there working all the time. And you're putting money back into you. Yeah. Which is great. Because I never have, I don't have time to spend money on anything, but. Yeah. Work. Now, you know, a lot of the girls I hear from Michelle, she's my eyes and ears. Mm. A lot of the girls go out and they, they like to party. Mm. Oh, they go like to party. Oh, okay, girl. The girls get turned. <laughs> they get turned. <laughs> Are you a party girl? I am not. I don't. I, she get turned like these bitches get I, turned? I never touch the stuff. Uh-huh. I, don't, I never touch the hooch. I, I stay far away from it. Uh-huh. I just don't function well. Yeah. Um, you don't drink? At all. Mm, me neither. Do, uh-huh. you, do you do any? Um, I don't do anything gerbils gerbils or no no and the, occasionally i'll do a crossword puzzle oh yeah. in front of people like in public can, can you believe in, it in a sling uh, exactly. yeah in a sling at the, at the eagle 
in the liberator. <laughs> oh my god. It's oh amazing. my goodness! I, oh, I looked at your boots. They look like those Israeli uh, army boots. Did you have you been to Israel? Uh, look at them. These obviously. are from Payless. Oh, <laughs> come on, Star Jones! <laughs> you don't believe it. You know, these, these, these are women's boots from Payless. My pants from H and M, and this shirt was free. Uh, I only... They have your size at um, Payless? Yes, in Harlem, of course they do. Oh, 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 oh Harlem's the home of the Zetter. SLW, do the suspiciously in... large woman girl. Uh, <laughs> you gotta, if you want big shoes, you go to Harlem. Do you live up in Harlem? I live in Washington Heights. Oh, okay. Which is very adjacent. It's Harlem adjacent. It is. It's uh, where the uh, musical In the Heights is based on. Yes, isn't that... Hamilton and Washington Heights. But Morningstar Park... uh, Was it Morningstar Park? What's that park up there? Morningside Park. Morningside Park, yeah. Is that is that near your neighborhood? You know, Morningside Park is down like one is like on, uh, between one ten and one twenty five, and I'm all the way up in the one sixties. Oh. I used to live in the Upper West Side, right near Morningside Park at one hundred six in Amsterdam, uh-huh. and I live up uh, higher. I spent I, a lot of time on that Spanish Harlem section of town. Yes, you I can did. imagine cruising for r- romantic cruising for whatever uh, romantic uh, uh, get-togethers. I like to call them dates. Yes, looking or for friends, rendezvous. Sure, why not? Yeah. Use a French word that makes it look. That makes it sound French. <laughs> rendezvous. Rendezvous. Yes. So now, okay, so Bob, um, you bought your mother a car. What What do you want out of your life? You've already won the Olympics of drag. Sure. What is the next goal for Bob? You've talked about your comedy special, mm-hmm. which you filmed it already, or you're about We're filming to? it in about a week. One week. That's One exciting. week from today. And it's, it's, a, it's a stand-up comedy documentary called A Queen for the People. Uh-huh. And uh, it's, it's, it's like documenting my life. Like I pretty much started documenting my life like the moment – I got back from Drag Race. I right. actually did a little bit before I even got cast on the show for this other documentary. And then we ended up filming this whole documentary for RuPaul's Drag Race. Oh, my God. Yeah. Look who's here. We're doing our podcast. Hi, love. I saw uh, you outside. And Bevy friends. Smith, Smith comes up in us. here. Hi, baby. Mm-hmm. Hi, love, boy. Mm-hmm. Bevy Hi. Smith has just Hi. walked Hi. in the studio. Yeah. Your podcast. Yes, we are, we'll honey. We do a podcast. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> there, there's an oral podcast that yes. you could do down on the piers. <laughs> that apparently, yeah. <laughs> as it were. Yeah. What are you doing in Los Angeles? I'm in La La Land. Uh huh. Hoping that La La Land doesn't win the Oscar. Uh, oh, of That's course. To, you know, of make course. Sure it doesn't happen. Black yeah, eye. yeah, yeah. No, th- of course you're here for that. Yes, yeah, shenanigans. Yes, for the shenanigans, yeah. darling. You look beautiful oh, as you. usual. Yes, <laughs> I, I, I can't see anything else. Yes. Oh yeah, well that's an ass for the people. Yes. yes. Uh huh. The girls out. They're natural. They're natural. Well, can I get a, a photo? Sure. Let people? me. Yeah. I don't. You want me to take it? Let me get it over here. Yeah. Here you go. Here you go. Get your light. Get your light. Get your light. That was good. That was good. Bevy okay. Smith is in Los Angeles. Hide your kids. Hide, Hide your, your wife. wife. <laughs> Hide your wife. Hide them all, honey. I'm here and I'm on the roll. That's like right. Like an egg and cheese, but not the bacon because I'm kosher and halal. All, all right. right. Lord have Why mercy. Why you guys have all these sweet treats? Because Chum. it's somebody's birthday and they somebody, brought down. Yes. Yes. Birthday, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Vice oh, president. Oh, now you gonna take a picture maybe. with with yeah, Bob Vice the drag president. queen, gorgeous, <laughs> yes. Yes. fabulous. Bob the drag queen. Bob the drag queen. Of, of all the names, she's, she's our winner. Season she's our season eight, eight winner of Drag Race. Yes. Yes. The other dogs. If I'm the winner. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what's her name? Carl. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to say it because she hears that. You know, uh, girls don't want to be looking like somebody named Bob. Right, uh, well, you know. You know Ryan Tarpley? Hi, hi, honey. How are you? Hi, good. How are you? Good to see you. Welcome to Los Angeles. <laughs> we love Los <laughs> Angeles. Welcome. Now, I'm going to ask you. Now, do you yeah. know how to drive, Bevy? I know how to drive the men. Why? Thank you. Thank you. This is an interesting story. Okay, here. Oh, oh, shoot, Lord. There you go. Okay. Yeah. An interesting story. Yeah. So, okay, can I mention a brand? Yes, yes. I mean, we yes. always say yes. Okay, yes. right. Uh-huh. So, when I was about to turn 45, I got an offer to be a Range Rover ambassador. Oh. And I was so excited because I said, Oh, I've been wanting a car and driver for the longest. <laughs> And they said, well, no, we kind of want you to actually drive the car. Uh-huh. So then they told me the coins that were involved. And I said, well, mama's got to get, you know, <laughs> a the driver's coins, license. Honey, yes. yeah. So they gave me half the money up front. Uh-huh. So I took the money and I ran. I was living high on the hog uh-huh. and doing what one does with, uh-huh. when they get the money up front. Yes. And they called me a couple of months later. They said, Bevy, the car that you selected is here. 
when are you going to pick it up? I said, oh, I'm so busy. You know, I've not been in town, darling. Yeah. You know, you just hold the car, darling. Uh -huh. And they said, well, you know, we also can't give you the second half of your payment until you get your driver's uh -oh. license. Uh -oh. So you know I bitch called up the motherfucking AAA uh -huh. or whatever uh -huh. and got on the line. They yeah. got a driver's um, instructor. Sure. Took the test a day before I turned 45. Uh -huh. Passed it with flying colors. Right on. Got the car. Drove it sporadically. Yeah. And has never driven again. And it's, it's sitting in the garage somewhere? Well, no, no, no. Then you have to give it back after a oh, year. Oh, okay. They right. had to give it back after the year. That's they so shady. They in the car for a year. I would That's so shady. And why did, they, why did they choose you as a, a, a ambassador? Range because ambassador? I was a gal about town. Oh. You know I'm always in these streets. Sure, yeah. So if you're always in the streets and you're going up, down, up yes. in Harlem, uh -huh. down on Broadway. Yes. You know the moment. N Native New Yorker. Let's see. Yes. I knew you would catch uh -huh. the ball. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I love so it. that's why. That's great. But and you know, my thing is when they try and shame me about no, not knowing how to drive, uh. I tell them Quincy Jones can't drive. Yeah. Hello. Because he's got a chauffeur, darling. And even when he did not, when he first came here, when he yeah. was a, just a jazz musician with sure. meaning poor uh -huh. and a weed smoker yeah. and a cocaine addict, okay. he had to, he did not <laughs> drive. A list of things. <laughs> For good reason. Thank For God. God. Yes. Thank God. Hey, you're high on coke yes. and weed. Yes. Yeah, well, I might say jazz. I'm saying the jazz musicians were like <laughs> yeah, well, of course, not Quincy. Yeah, yes. no, no, of course, not of course. Quincy. Uh -uh. Just all the jazz musicians. Uh -huh. Yeah, so yeah. well, I, I mean, a Range Rover is a good car, and, and, and it's, big. it's a big Rover. car. And what a great brand ambassador. I think you make a fabulous brand ambassador for just about anything. Thank you, you know? Give me a check. Well, I'm trying to tell these people out here, <laughs> if they want a good brand ambassador, check out Bevy Smith. She's a triple threat with double D. <laughs> <laughs> let them know. Let them know. That's right. You got to let them know. Yeah. You got to let them know. Let them know. I'm leaving now. A child for now. And as always, cheers to the queer. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Nah. Thank you, baby. I can't wait. Nice uh -huh. to meet you. Nice I think you're so pretty, too. Oh, she certainly you, is. Lovely yeah, to meet you. I can't wait to tell George that Bevy Smith was here. Yes, yes, because he's in love. He loves the fashion queens, that show oh. that Bevy did. Yes. And he was in, he talks about it all the time still. He loves the fashion I'm queens. On the page six TV coming in. Page August. six Get TV, ready. yes, yes, I know that's uh, that's over at uh, uh, Indemo, uh, Shine. Right. Shine yes, Indemo. Shine that's Indemo. You better know the business. Yes, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Bye. Bye. Bevy Smith is and in the house. That was my Bevy Smith impersonation. Yes. That was so good. Bob, that was You're so good. Really good. Now, is that going to be in the act? That's going to be if, if, for um, Drag Race Superstars. That's uh -huh. Smash Game. Oh, great, <laughs> great. Bevy Smith. Wow. Now, okay, so uh, how do you get along with, with other comics? Is it, you know, when you're on a, a, a show where there's a lineup of comics, and, and not just comics, uh, drag queens too, just clowns in general. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, how do you how do you make your way? Is, is there tension because they say, oh, this bitch thinks she all that because she won the crown? Well, what? I mean, in terms of... Interesting voice. Uh -huh. in but this Bevy Smith that did that That's to me, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it rubs off. Um, uh -huh. She rubbed off on you. Yeah, I saw it. I it's watched. Easy. It. It's easy it. to get into that character. She'll it's suck the, yes, you in. Yes. You know, uh, it, when it, when I do with like I have a lot of uh, great comedy friends: Mateo Lane, Zach Noe Towers, Jessica Kirsten. Whenever I work with them, we're not really intimidated by each other because I find like that queer comedians are a lot different than straight comedians. Mm. For some reason, queer comedians are just. Ironically, happy people mm -hmm. and straight comedians are not only sad, like kind of uh, like depressing sometimes. Uh, and in terms of like the crown, there are some queens. When I do a show with the queens, there are some queens who did not win 12 seasons ago uh -huh. who are still mad. I mean, uh, to this day, yeah, still mad. But I'm like, girl, let it go, girl. Yeah. They can't, yeah, like, like winning isn't everything unless uh -huh. you do, and it's great. <laughs> um, but outside of that, if you didn't win, winning's not everything, girl. Yeah. And they, I mean, they cannot let it go. And well, it's about what you turn it into because there are people who did not win who are really bigger stars than some yeah. you are people correct. who have won. You are correct. And it's, it's how enterprising you are. That's what the show is so great is that it gives you an opportunity to springboard your career off of it. You know? I mean, Alyssa Edwards went home sixth place both times. Like that's uh, <laughs> she right in the middle of the show. And yeah. still beloved. And she's, and yeah. people, she's, still, she's yeah. still too booked to be bothered. What? Yeah, too booked to be yeah. bothered. One of the most popular queens we've ever had. Be hey, we've got Bob the Drag Queen, winner of season eight of RuPaul's Drag Race. We'll be back after this message.
Girl, we were both in New York separately, but I think you were there the week before yes. me. Yes, because remember I texted you. I was like, are you here? Yeah, yeah. Well, I used my Today Ticks, girl, and I loved it. I saw three shows, and all the shows I got from Today Ticks. So you Brilliant. saw the Michael Urie one, you saw War Pain, and yes. you, what's the third? Uh, I saw... Um, oh, you sorry. didn't get the Jody Watley tickets through Today No, Ticks. I didn't. I didn't get the yeah. Jody Watley tickets. I don't remember what my third show was. Did you see? I see everything. I know you see, and I'm so proud of you. See, Have you seen the Great Comet yet? No, but that those are aren't those a little hard to get. Oh, I'm gonna try my best. Yeah, Today Ticks hasn't let me down yet. Well, you know, my Today Ticks for War Paint. I was front and center. I was about maybe five or six rows back. See, you can choose. You can choose orchestra. You can choose mezzanine. You can choose what you want. But at the end of the day, you are going to get great tickets. And they never sell obstructed view. Never. Never sell obstructed view. The, the kid out front of the theater waiting for me couldn't have been easier. Yep. I got to tell you, that today ticks. You turned me on to yeah, it. Yeah, it changed my life. It is the best thing. I think it's the best thing you've ever recommended but to me. I, well, one of the best. Don't uh-huh, get crazy. Uh-huh. I got a text from our lady, Jay, and she's like, oh, let's go see a show at today's tick, today ticks when we're in New York. She's uh-huh. going to be there for Pride, too. Yeah. But the funny thing is, everybody knows now, I'm telling you, this is a company. Yeah. This is a company that we should have funded. Right. This is it. This is brilliant. This is going to be one of those Uber moments. Well, you know, the thing is, I can't believe for so many years, I went and did the old fashioned thing. The TKTS? Well, no, not the T. The other one where I would go to those Box other office? big companies. Oh. And w- once I remember being on the on the phone forever yeah. and still never getting the tickets. Yes, I agree. It was crazy. Today, Ticks makes it so easy. Changes everything. You got to try this, guys. You got to try it for so many cities. Yeah. Easiest way to get theater, dance, opera, comedy tickets, insider prices up to 30 days in advance. Available in 10 cities now, including New York, London, San Francisco, the Bay Area, L.A., D.C., Chicago, and Seattle. And for our London listeners, which we have a lot of, check out the Today Ticks exclusive 15 pounds front row lottery yeah i said front row lottery to see the fabulous dream girl starring olivier award winner and our friend amber riley as effie white wow that's great yeah you you forgot philly did you say philly um did i say philly philadelphia is another city where where today ticks is happening y'all this is it yes this is the ticket download the today ticks app for free it's got a big x on it they change how it looks now yeah i saw that red and white with the big x it's for free on android ios today tix or visit todayticks.com see what's playing this week and treat yourself to a show today ticks.com offer code are you that's today ticks.com offer code are you and they're going to offer you twenty dollars off your first purchase with that code so don't forget that are you it's today ticks we are back with bob the drag queen girl oh. you your career has taken off you're doing comedy specials traveling the world what do you want to do next you know, it's really funny. Like I, my 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 very next thing that I've always before I was even on Drag Race, my name used to my slave name, my first drag name. Uh-huh. I call it my slave name, uh-huh. okay. and I only say that to um, make white people uncomfortable. Okay, was uh, kitten with a whip. Uh huh. It was oh, best of an O.A. and Margaret film. Yeah, and uh, I used to do a show called Pretty Kitty Live, which is like a late night show. So I'm, I'm I'm trying to get like I would love to. do I've always wanted to have a late night talk show. Uh-huh. Oh, oh really? That seems like it's really easy. To but that's the thing. That's the thing, though, Michelle. Whatever I say, I'm going to do. I do it, whether it sounds crazy. Uh-huh. If it sounds completely unachievable, I still say I'm going to do it. and I end up doing it anyway. No, no, you know that's the secret of life. That, that it, is it's the worked secret for of me life. every single time. Okay, well, yeah. go ahead. Good luck. Well, don't listen to her. You can. You know, you can do anything you want. <laughs> I'm, I'm just no. fucking with you. No. no okay. So, um, uh, <laughs> you want to do a late night talk show, kitten with a whip. No, though that's what I used to. I, I used to call it Pretty Kitty Live. I don't. I mean, who knows? Bob Live or Late Night with Live Bob and Bibbidi Bobbidi yeah. whatever. That's yeah. not the point. The name is secondary. Yeah. But the concept of the show is something I would want to do. I mean, I haven't even worked it out yet, but it's something I've always wanted to do a late night talk show, which gives you a, me a chance to engage in my full on shenanigans. Yeah. Um, with a myriad of uh, you know talented people that I enjoy. Where do you get this confidence? Where did it come from? You know, knowing your background, I knew your mother's very strong person. Yeah. Where does your strength come from? Well, I just watched my mother do stuff that seemed impossible. And I, you know what, honestly, it's, it's really a small quote. My mom once told me why she doesn't drink and why she doesn't do drugs. And she said, uh, I said, she, I asked her why did she get a drink? I was in college. I was like, I'll make you a drink. I'm a bartender. Give you a drink. She goes, I don't drink. I don't do drugs. And I mm-hmm. said, why? She goes, I watch people in their family get high off drugs and get strung out on that stuff. Mm-hmm. And if it, happen, if it happened to them, it can happen to me. Sure. 
She yeah. goes, if it can happen, in it, but I turn that and flip the other way around. Like if I'm looking at TV and I see a really successful person, I'm like, if it can happen for them, yep. it can happen for me. Absolutely. Like why wouldn't that happen for me? Yes. What is so special about that person that I don't have? Yeah. And the answer is simply, it simply boils down to a mentality. Yeah. That's the reason. I, I have friends who can sing and act and dance better than Taylor Swift. But the reason Taylor Swift is there probably because she believes she could do it. Right. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, no, you're absolutely right. And I come, Michelle and I both come from, uh, you know, the village where there were so many talented people, but they couldn't get out of their own way. Yes. How are you at just the business side? You said you're producing a, a stand up show and you, you handle, I see you, your assistant is here with you. H- how are you at business in general in planning out? what you're going to do and making sure that it actually happens. Well, I mean, I'm pretty good at delegating what I want to get done. And if I can't do it, then I find someone that can do it really well. Mm-hmm. That's the point. Not trying to, that, that's, if you can't do it yourself and you know you can't do it and you're not capable, you don't have that particular skill set, then find someone that can do it. There's tons of people out there who want to work. Yeah, but everybody mm-hmm. wants a percentage. They want a cut of the action. You know, you talk to people and they say, well, I'll do this. But, you know, I say, bitch, I'll pay you a fee, but I'm going to go give you, you know, Back in yeah, points. Yeah. You know, you know? I mean, I'll, I'll give you what you deserve. You're a paid uh-huh. intern. Yeah. yeah, right. So can I just sidebar this and say the potato chip companies in Columbus, Georgia? Yes, yes, please. So Frito-Lay is based there, oh, okay. oh, wow. which is huge. Right. And you remember Lance? That is the one I'm thinking Lance of. Lance had everything. Lance had the little uh, Tom's cookies. Tom's chips. Yep. They had those little crackers in the thing. That's what I'm thinking of. Lance. Yeah, I used to actually, I lived on Lance uh, uh, crackers in, here in New York. I lived on Lance everything oh the yeah they got pool. it all oh, yeah. Lance. they got every yes. food group you yes. can imagine well processed yes. but uh am i processed <laughs> yes i'm yes. processed the food group category are you processed? is processed yes are you processed double course, well, i'm c- clearly processed double processed are you processed oh. also aflac is in columbus georgia too is oh, it? aflac quack quack aflac. gilbert gaffrey i can't get away from that guy Gilbert Godfrey. Yeah. He doesn't work for them anymore. Uh, Ever since he made, oh, that, he made that joke that about uh, who joke? lives in a pineapple under the sea, Japan. Yeah. And then he got. Yeah. You can't yeah. make those jokes anymore. You no, know, you can't. You can't. No, it is. Unless you just really. I think honestly, what it boils down to is if you're, you know, uh, a comedy person once told me you can you can get away with saying anything uh-huh. as long as it's funny, right? And if it's yeah, funny, but that, that's, don't forgive that was you. funny. But I guess it wasn't funny enough. That's why I mean Joan Rivers has stuff way worse than that. Way yeah. worse than that. She got right. away with it. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah, but she got a lot of flack for her shit too yeah. for plenty of years. She did she did. And she she lost some contracts mm-hmm. too. Mm-hmm. You know. Mm-hmm. Um so and who is who is your comedy icon? Is it- my favorite comedian of all time is Chris Rock. He is so fucking hilarious. Uh-huh. Chris Rock, I love Carol Channing, I love Whoopi Goldberg, I love Wanda Sykes, I love Louis C.K. Those are just some brilliant Brilliant, and smart. Too. So, so when, smart. You, when you're writing an act, how much material do you go through, and what percentage of what you write is used in the show? Well, I mean, you know, my writing really goes. I'll go on stage, and I, I was I used to do this where I would put my iPad off side of stage and record what I'm saying, uh-huh. and I'll come up with something. For example, I used to jokingly say, I would talk, I just riff about Beyonce. Like someone in the audience goes, "Ba ba ba, Beyonce," and then I'll say something that the audience will laugh about. Like I'll be like. You know, for, I had this bit where I say, you know, I'm not even sure Beyonce ever knew Michelle was in Destiny's Child. Uh-huh. Like I had a feeling she thought like this background singer is just singing really fucking loud. <laughs> and you build a whole bit off of Beyonce uh-huh. not knowing she's in Destiny's Child and then about her her and Jay-Z. And then so a whole bit conform from that or how all the women in my family have old lady names. My mom's uh-huh. name is Martha. Uh-huh. I have not named Hazel. <laughs> I have not named Felicia. Uh-huh. I mean, like old Old lady name. Yeah. Like a name you're born at 50. You can't with. get yeah, yeah. older than Hazel. Oh, Hazel no, is. Hazel yeah. is, yeah. That's it. That's yeah. like Gertrude. Yeah. yeah. She, the you, only name older is Methuselah. Yeah. <laughs> she, I think she was married to Methuselah. Yeah, they were cousins. Yeah, First cousins. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Methuselah and Hazel. They used to play in the playground. Yeah. yeah. My mother's name was uh, Ernestine. Another one. Yeah. Yours it was? My, my mother was Arlene. But yeah. That's not, even though that's still kind of getting there. Oh, no. It is. My Arlene. grandmother was Martha. Okay. That's my mom's name. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Martha Caldwell. Martha yeah. and uh, Gertrude. Oh. Those are two. Yep. Oh, that's it. Gertrude. That's Gertrude. unfortunate Gertrude name. they called Sally, though. Do oh, you know not that? Not Gertie? Not Gertie. They called oh. her Sally. Chi Chi Devane's mom name is Albertine. Okay. Okay. 
Albertina, <laughs> Albertina like, Ernestine. Yeah, just like Albertina Walker. You know Albert, who that is? I do not. Uh huh. She's a gospel singer, Albertina Walker. I mean, Albertine. Uh huh. Albertina makes it a little younger. Yes, Albertina. Yeah. But Albertine. 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 Yeah. I mean, that that is a that is a country. It's, ass it, it sounds name. like a cough serum. <laughs> that name is served with a side of grits. Yeah. That's what it is. <laughs> it's like your name is Albertine. Jesus. <laughs> oh my God. That's true. Are you friends with her? Is she on your season? I yes, I love Chichi <laughs> Devane. I just I swear Drew I don't remember. It's, it's no. a hundred. No, yeah. it's it's not I that. It's I remember. I don't remember who no, was the yeah. pairings. Yeah, yeah. But, but to be fair, I have a pretty damn good memory. And when I'm on stage, there's times I'm literally going for season, and then I'll say five, and I'll bring out yeah. somebody else, and the audience will go, "That was season six. Uh-huh, like uh-huh. I fuck it up all the time. Yeah, because to your defense. We're the ones who are staying. You guys are in your little bubble. Right. Yeah. And you right. can remember it oh, yeah, I remember your little bubble. Yeah. I remember from my, I get mixed up with other people's seasons. Yes, I remember exactly. My, of course, I'm like, yeah. of course I know. Yeah. She, she, I do a party at the Monster still. I, uh-huh. I, I'm not always there, but really? I, produce, I produce the party at the Monster. Yeah. So I'm not always there. What's it called? What night? It's is called it? Look Queen on Sundays at the Monster. That's the night That's you came the night I came. Yeah. Look Queen on Sundays at and the Monster. And you still do it. Yeah, still I mean, promote it. Even if I'm not there, like I booked Alyssa Edwards to perform there. Ooh, when I wasn't there. I they had, must have loved that. And I recently had Chi Chi Devane, who turns turns I mean, the party, yes, turns literally turns like yeah. upside down, yeah. <laughs> flip flops one. Harry right Kennedy the other. Davenport, they'd be yeah. swinging from rafters. Uh, and it's, and it's, it's amazing. I mean, Chi Chi Devane, who's built like a middle school football player. <laughs> Like she's literally looks. She's like she's built like the like the muscular Pillsbury Doughboy. Yeah, yeah. And, and it's impressive to see Kennedy Davenport do it. Who is, I mean, for all intents and purposes, at least forty years older than Chichi Devane, oh and a solid thirty five pounds overweight. Oh but she's still God. doing backflips. I'm like, girl, work. Yeah, yeah, she does. It's in the daily practice. Yeah. Oh my God. So uh, we look queen Sunday nights at, at the monster. The monster. Yeah. And shows are always late in New York. You girl. Know? Well, sometimes you. Do two a night in New York. Yeah, oh right? yeah. That's yeah, yeah. Why. I, I used to I used to hop from show to show to show. New York City, but New York City they cooperate too. Like there's a bar called um, Health. There's a bar called Industry and Therapy. They're literally across. You can throw a rock and hit one from the other. Ah, Therapy has their show. I used to work at both bars. Now Therapy's up on Fifty Fourth Street. Fifty Second. Was Street. Therapy 52nd. the Bianca one or was that Industry? Industry was the Bianca. Okay. One. You you the Therapy has their shows at eleven o'clock, and then Industry has their shows at. Um, 12 o'clock. Mm. Oh. So the shows never collide. Like the show, I the see. bars all work. There's no bar wars. So Are they owned by go- the same people? Nope. Industry and therapy. Industry and therapy. And therapy is at 54th and 50, 8th 50, Avenue. 52nd between 8 and 9. And so is industry. Industry and therapy are both between 52, on 52 between 8 and 9. And I think season 9, uh, Alexis, Michelle is at one of them because I saw an ad. She has, an, she has a, a gig at therapy on. Therapy. See, they're. It's Thursdays. just those two bars, more or less, uh, that, that uh. the girls... And then, of course, The Monster, which has been the there monster. since... Ever. I think Link, after Lincoln got assassinated. assassinated. And, then, and, then, and then John Wilkes Booth ran down to ran the monster. to the monster. Oh to hide. Picked up a guys. trick. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Saw the drag show. <laughs> saw the drag show. Saw her. <laughs> Hung out he at was on a roll that week, girl. <laughs> went to Two Potato for a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> that went back over to the mall. Yeah, had a hot dog at Grace Babaya. <laughs> yeah, hopped the A train, and then then you got arrested. Hung out of boots and saddles. Exactly. <laughs> oh my god. So I, I'm always interested in what the clubs are these days because I haven't yeah. done clubs in since Drag Race, really. Mm-hmm. Um, well, they I, have changed, baby. I know they've changed, but it's interesting. What you know when when I stopped doing clubs which is about nine years ago um you know there wasn't the whole cell phone explosion no they had cell phones but it wasn't where everybody had one up, up your in. nose up in. your nose yes. up and the club is rude it's packed they can pump the air as hard as they want it's yeah. one is a hundred thousand goddamn degrees yes that. oh i know you are melting oh Flop sweat. I, I listen i told you i sweat like the late whitney houston yes honey and i and i <laughs> I did back then too. I always say, you know, I I sweat like a hook red church or like I say like a hook red church or like Latrice Royale anywhere. <laughs> um, and you're just full on like flop sweating, uh, uh, yeah. and they're like, what? Yeah. Yes. And then a picture comes out and it's you like turn. Yeah. Uh huh. They, they, they always go, thanks, I'll filter it. And it's yeah. like, yeah. bitch, you'll filter yeah. yourself. Right. They That's do like, it to everyone. They even do it to Beyonce. Yeah. Yeah. They do. They, yes. If they can make Beyonce look like a foot, what chance do yes. I have in this well, world? Well, you know, None. it's just, it really is awful. And uh, there's no reasoning with them about this because they want that prize. That's it. They want to say, look what I got. It's and it doesn't matter. It's a trophy. It doesn't matter how you look or how you feel, even. So, you know, I, I don't miss that aspect of one the of the clubs. real housewives of 
Beverly Hills. Erica Jane, she does a thing where she does meet and greets. She only does selfies. And she has these like light panels and she uh-huh. has to take the photo herself. Okay. So she approves it and if she doesn't like it, she'll delete it right there on your phone. I love that. It's actually really smart. Hey, I do that too. I'll do the delete. I said, I want you to see it. Delete it right now. But yeah. see, that takes extra time. Yes, it does it take takes extra, extra time. time. Yeah. All the time. Not extra, yeah. yeah. All the time. Yeah. Right. Well, you know, at DragCon, what, what we do when people come to sign in, in my booth is that uh, and we John take booth. my John Wilkes booth. <laughs> we take the picture. You can't take it. We take the picture and we will email it to you or immediately. You have uh, Denise or somebody taking. Uh-huh. The, yeah. Yep. He's a professional photographer taking pictures, which is brilliant. And we will email you the picture. You can't take the picture yourself. So we I know it's going to look really great. Mm-hmm. Are you going to be at DragCon this year? Absolutely. Mm-hmm. I cannot wait to be at DragCon. Were you there last year? Yes, I was contractually obligated. I was there last year. <laughs> Whether I wanted to or not, I was there. Oh, pardon my question. I'm just being I'm just no, being me, you no, know. Uh, no, I yeah, I was there last year, but it was you know, it was my first time. I didn't know what it was like. I had no clue. I'm prepared now. Yeah. And I have a whole plan. I hope I can actually yes. execute it. It's always because great I was, to I do was it standing, once. which is grueling. I was mm. standing and I was in heels. Oh. The whole time. The whole, the whole time, the whole time, the whole time. Oh, whole time, oh. Whole time. Yes. oh lord! Um, but I'm, gonna, I mean, I'm the, I'm the, I'm the, I'm the current reigning. Yes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a fucking. I'm gonna try to get a throne made. I'm gonna sit there the entire time uh-huh. in my throne. Work yeah. it. You can sit next to me. You can yeah. come hang out. But I am not standing up. Uh-huh. I'm gonna wear 18 inch stilettos, and because I'm uh-huh. gonna be sitting. What do I fucking uh-huh. care? I love it. Hey, we're going to take a quick break. We've got Bob the Dragon. When we come back, I want to ask Bob about connecting with gentlemen callers while out on the road. This is always interesting. We'll be right back. You know, everybody talks about the good old days. The good old days, the good old days. (laughs) Let's talk about today. And let's talk about last night. All right. How well did you sleep? I sleep like on a fluffy little cloud. Really? But not too fluffy. Like it has the right amount of firm. I love that. And you were talking about Casper, right? Are we both talking about a Casper mattress? Are we talking about Casper mattress? <laughs> what else are we talking about? <laughs> Buying the Casper mattress is easy, which is one of my favorite things about it. So you order it online. I got a king size delivered right to your door in a compact box. Everybody in the neighborhood would be like, What's that box? Oh. Well, she got all up in that box. Well, she thinks she who she thinks she is. She get a mattress in a box. <laughs> Free shipping, free returns, available, of course, in the U.S. and Canada, but also now to our U.K. friends. I saw it on the tube. Mattresses are so important. And listen, they know how important they are. So that's why Casper wants to give you 100 nights to try it out. They know it's a commitment. I am telling you, with all honesty, that I absolutely love this mattress. When I travel, nothing. It's like, ugh. And, yeah. then, and like the princess in the pea. Right. I get home and I get on my my Casper and it's like, uh-huh. like I'm knocked out. And you guys, you can get $50 toward any mattress by purchasing or by visiting casper.com slash rue using the offer code RU. And I'm telling you, you've heard me talk about it time and again. There's nothing. And I think they have pillows now. They have dog beds. Like Wow. Yeah, Casper, where's my pillow? No, it's just amazing because, you know, we're all used to the whole department store template. Oh, I hate that. Where you have to go and you have to do all that stuff. You know, this is a really, this is a 21st century way to buy a mattress that you know is going to be good quality. And it has that that mixture of the materials. It's the latex and the memory foam. Brilliant. Yeah, and I have to tell you, it's like a no pressure thing. You're doing it on your own. When you go to buy mattress in a store, you feel the pressure. Yeah. They're like $5,000. Oh my goodness. And that's on a conservative end. Like, Honestly, who knew that buying a mattress is like buying a car? Yeah, yeah. Casper mattress, you don't have to worry about all that. They call it, they cut out the middleman. You go direct to the source. I'm telling you guys, if you're in the market for a mattress, look no for And there's knockoffs out there now. Honey, there is only one originator, bitch. That's right. It is casper.com slash RU. Go get it. We have got Bob the drag queen, the reigning trophy snatching queen from season eight. Now, Michelle, of course, I've told you she's my eyes and ears on, on the girl. She reports everything and she tells me about all the all the madness the that shenanigans. The, yes, the children get into on the road. They are they are meeting men mm. in different places in drags and clubs. Kiki, and, kai, kai, yes, cuckoo. the backseat of cars. Come, come. Okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, you strike me as someone who is a professional. I am I am a I am a whole professional, full mm. on. You know, let me tell you right now, we have something that I call it happens 
every morning after a gig with a bunch of girls is called the Trade Parade. Oh, okay. Okay. Now, for those of you who don't yeah, know, there's a show. Oh, yeah. that's a TV show. Trade is whoever you're hooking up with. They're called Trade. You're hooking uh-huh. up with someone that's Trade. What's and the basis of Trade? Uh, uh, I uh, That's a good question. Because I've known it from I think the it's 80s. From the, maybe from the term Rough Trade. Oh, yes. That's it. That's it. And then and then you just take off, because we'll certain anything, take off Rough and it's yeah. just Trade. Okay. Right. And now, but it doesn't have to be Rough. It's just anyone, anyone you hook up with. Yeah. Excuse me, it's trade. So in the mornings after the show, the trade parade is we're all, we're all getting to the van to go to the airport, but all of your trade comes down ah. too. So it is you because like you're all on tour. Yeah. yeah. Ah. So there's like a, that's mine. So oh, mine. so Michelle, and Michelle, you're on tour with her too. Nope. No, we have not done. No, yet. but we have one coming up that I'm doing. What? Okay. Um, so, what tour is it? Is it the Peg this was tour? The, this was the Peter and Mary tour. Which okay. Was the season eight. It had only season eight girls. I see. But this was actually from the Christmas tour, which had season eight and a couple of other girls too. And we were. It, w- it was time for the trade parade. We had we had just all woken up. We had to be downstairs at four o'clock in the morning to get on the van uh-huh. to go to the airport. Uh-huh. And then the queens and their trade come downstairs. I love that. And I am sitting downstairs, and, and we all have like it was. Uh, it was everyone. It was me. Acid Betty and Naomi Smalls. Uh-huh. All right. That we're sitting there waiting. No, sitting there with our trade coming. Our oh, trade okay. Yeah. So, but uh, my I was my trade. I was like, listen, you go with we'll, 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 whatever. Uh-huh. Acid Betty has her trade trained. They are carrying her bags. Uh huh. And then and then Naomi Smalls had this guy sitting there, and there was a girl with him, like just a girl with her trade. And uh-huh. I was like, Did, like was she in the room with you? Uh huh. She's gonna kill me. <laughs> she goes, uh-huh. no, she just waited downstairs. Oh, and she, this girl was the prototype for basic white bitch. Like you cannot write a character. Oh. She's sitting there drunk as hell, and uh-huh. then she just looks up at me and she says, "The most I cannot, I couldn't have made this up if I wanted to." She's wasted, had a bag from Walgreens. She goes, "Have you ever had brownie brittle?" <laughs> and what, what I just start, I was like, "What is going on?" But really, have you? I have had brownie brittle. It is because it's cracking a bag. It's, yeah, yeah, it yeah. Is, it girl is cracking a bag. In her defense, uh-huh. the brownie brittle yeah. is amazing. Yeah, no, it, it, in her defense, it would be something you would devote your life to. Oh, yeah. <laughs> is brownie brittle? It's brilliant. And she goes, "Have you ever had brownie brittle?" I was like, uh-huh. "What is really going on?" Yeah, she was like, yeah. "Girl, oh. Trey sometimes has a friend." Girl. Uh, and did and that on. Um, on that trip, did on that particular evening morning, did everybody have a gentleman? No, it was just me, Betty, and Naomi. Yeah. You're gonna kill me. And no, what, it's reality. And is it because it just hap it was Kismet? Or were these the girls who seek trade out? Did you okay. did you see them at the club or did you go on Grinder? They were all from the club. Naomi, first of all, Naomi always gets trade. Always. Uh-huh. Naomi is always on the hunt for trade. And you know who else does? Who's that? Who who Layla McQueen? No, no, no. No, these it. are the, my, the older oh, girls, girls, right? Because yeah. I haven't toured with the eight girls yet. Um, but somebody who who always not necessarily pulls trade because, but somebody who can score everywhere, mm-hmm. especially in Europe. The the boys live for Pandora Box. That bitch. I know y'all are staring at me like Mouth Little Orphan Annie. <laughs> We're all like, you mispronounce <laughs> someone's staring name. Staring at me with Little Orphan Annie with I, I, no. I was waiting for you to pupils. say detox. No. Oh, We're all like, you mispronounce I'm not saying detox. who goes and gets trade. They all get trade. Uh-huh. Viola gets trade. Detox gets trade. Jinx, adore. They all love their trade. Mm-hmm. But the, I've seen boys and D and the girls will tell you I've seen boys trip over people to get to Pandora. Pandora. Oh. Pandora box, especially in Europe. Oh. Good work. If you, and nice she work do got that booty too. Pandora got a booty. Nice work. Is it her own? It's hers. Uh-huh. Yeah, she's not pumped. Wow. I'm telling you, it's it's. I've seen it firsthand, and it's always like the ones that you expect to be the man eaters. Uh-huh. Sometimes the opposite happens because I also the phenomenon that Rue and I have talked a lot about, and you can probably back us up, is um, the kind of drag race uh, Peter that happens. So, oh right, they're they're fans of yours. Oh, and, yeah. and they get with you, and then you get in a room, and they can't perform because oh, yeah. they're too nervous. All right, the, yeah. Correct. Right, they have to lip sync for their lives, and it yeah. just doesn't work. And they end yeah. up dying. <laughs> they, have yeah, they have to sashay yeah, away. They have to sashay away. The time has come. Yeah, yeah. it's I'm a phenomenon. Sorry. You say, I'm sorry, my dear, but you're both up for a little bit. <laughs> you and your you're friend. You're both going home. <laughs> you and your friend. I go down to the lobby and, and Michelle, eat some brownie bread. Can brittle. I have your phone? <laughs> <laughs> How soon can you make some brownie bread? <laughs> <laughs> But it is true, isn't it? Yeah. It is. It, 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 yeah, it's a mess. <laughs> but the two from today who always get laid every time and are always the horniest people are Naomi, Naomi and Layla McQueen. Like, yeah. like it's crazy. Those kids. Because they're I, also fetuses. Yeah, I also oh, yeah. dedicate a lot of my time to helping Naomi get trade. 
Literally. Oh, and, and how do you do that? Well, yeah, I'm, a, I'm the best wingman ever. Uh-huh, Naomi uh-huh. comes up to me, literally, at, at meet and greets. There's a guy, and then like eight guys back, and then Naomi comes to me, and she goes, that one. Uh-huh. The one with the hat. And then I'll start working my magic, and I'll say something clever, and then I'll be like, uh, for example, I'll be like, when you go hug Naomi Smalls, I need you to just lean down and just say, please grab my ass. Oh. And he goes, what? I say, say it. Trust me. Uh-huh. Just say it. He's like, I can't. I said, listen to me. Look me in the eyes. Would I lie to you? Uh, <laughs> I'm America's next drag superstar. Uh-huh. America's current drag. Yeah, I, I'm the current fucking reigning. Would yes, I lie you to you? Uh-huh. <laughs> and he does it. Next thing I know, Trey Parade in the morning. Girl. Oh, oh, my goodness. That. Yeah, I love doing that, too. I just feel, I, you know, back then, I always felt like I was so different from the character I portray on in drag or in the club, you know. Mm-hmm. So I wasn't, I, I you know, I, I wanted to get away from the club, you know. I didn't want to meet people and because as soon as the wig comes, I'm someone completely different. Yeah, well, that's the thing. You, you a lot are, of we're are. seen in and out of drag. We're not just seen as our drag persona. So, for example, like Ben Creme, who has this crazy, she's so different, but you get to see Ben and you get to see Ben Creme. Mm-hmm. So these people have experience with us as males too. Right. You know what I mean? Right. They're not, they're not, they're not what they call, as you, as I've heard, listen, podcast granny chasers uh-huh. <laughs> they are um, they're, they're just not. they're just horny little gay boys want to hook up with someone from tv you know what i mean yeah. most of y'all do the show like from my experience they'll do the show again this last tour that we did six months i didn't go out i think i went out once and that was when right i was with eddie before he was taken at pulse but mm-hmm. that was the one night in six months that i went they usually do the show yeah. then they go to the club not in drags. Right, so when right. they go to the club, that's the boy that they are anyway. I see. So you, what you're saying is a little bit different. Right. Because you're saying the people you see when you're performing yeah. as RuPaul instead of out of drag as RuPaul. Right. So it's like a Jodeci thing. Um, The after party, the hotel lobby. Correct. Yeah, the room. Room. And then you freak yeah. me baby. And yeah. you freak me baby. Yes. Yeah. And the girls jump jump out of drag. Uh-huh. Yes. I mean, they can't jump. get out of drag True. fast enough. True. Because oh they want to go get the trade parade started. See, now that's the documentary I want to see too. I want to see that whole thing because hearing about it on the podcast mm-hmm. and hearing everyone's reports mm-hmm. it sounds fabulous it is. I gotta say I'm shocked that Listen, no I've told one has, World of Wonder to film this I'm shit I'm shocked yeah. World of Wonder has never followed one of these tours yep. is this so honestly this is where the drama is uh huh because we're like on the show, we're doing drama for because we're competing. Yeah, we're just mom. doing drama for the sake of doing drama. Yeah, and that's where the passion comes in. <laughs> You're drama just because you want to be drama, right? And it's like girls getting jealous because other girls get more tips or sell more merchandise uh-huh. or someone stole so and so's trade or so and so got the bigger dressing room. It's like it, it's real. It is real. Oh my! And goodness. we're all friends. We all get along. Yeah, but who doesn't uh, get irritated with their friends? Yeah, to the day yeah. they just want to get laid. Sure. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. Why girls just want to have fun? Yeah. Who would you? Consider your best friend of all the girls out there. You Uh-oh, know, this could cause some problems. I don't mind problems. Okay. I think I get along the most with Kim and Naomi. And uh-huh. I talk to Naomi. Is it because they're on your season? I think it is because they're on my season. And we had a we did have a top three a top three bond. And Na- you know, and Naomi, I call Naomi calls me for advice all the time because she'll she, Naomi is so she's so young. She lives out here in L.A. No, she lives in Chicago now. She used to live in Redlands, California, which is about an hour away. But then she moved Why to Chicago. Is Chicago? Because a lot of the girls go to Chicago before they come here, and they stay there for a while. Chicago is a great city. I love Chicago. And, well, Naomi lives an hour away, though. Like, and, girl, yeah. And, and also, where she live at? She lives in she lives in Redlands, California. Now she lives in Chicago. Lives in. Uh, like, you said an hour away from where? From, from here. L.A. She used to live an hour away from here in Redlands, California. Oh, I see what you're saying. I thought yeah. you meant outside of Chicago. But isn't Kim in Chicago? Kim's from Chicago. So they're all yeah. together. Yeah, there. she. I think she moved because her friends were there. It's like my friends. There's a bunch of them there too. Which is what young too. people do. Young people are like I moved for my friends. Right. You know? yeah. And I'm like, I don't even, you know what I mean? Whatever. Yeah. Um, like Adore but, just moved to Seattle. I think people, I think people start here or they come here and they realize, mm, LA is not, LA will chew you up and spit you oh, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like New yeah, York City yeah, if right. you ain't prepared. Yes. Yeah. So I think a lot of them come here and they go somewhere else or they're just not ready to come here. Adore moved to Seattle. She did. Why Seattle? Um, she's from LA, right? She's from yeah, LA. So she's Azusa. from Azusa. She's yeah. because I was texting her and it's just knowing a door. It's way more a door. It's free spirit. It's weed. It's hey. Yeah, people yeah. people don't question who she is. If she's in Azusa or out there, she's going to get questioned for the way Jinx she dresses. Jinx still live there and Ben de la Creme? Jinx is still in Robbie Seattle. Turnal. Yeah, Yeah, they're all there. They're still all Did I say Seattle? Robbie Turnal? You did, Robbie but I knew Turner. exactly what uh-huh. you meant. Uh-huh. It's such a great, to me, I love Seattle and I love Portland. Uh-huh. After I love Portland, tw- too. Oh my God, Portland what a so great, great city. Yeah. Best strip club yeah. I've ever been to. In Portland? In Portland. Male or female? 
female. Male strip club. Wait, what's it called? Stag. Ooh. Oh, I mean to book a flight right now. Yes. I'm telling you, when you go to Stag, I don't know your Thai brew, but ask for Mr. Smith. I mean, ask oh. for Mr. Smith. Tell That's us the, about Mr. Smith. I, I, I've seen, I've seen, I've seen your 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 uh, your man before. So uh-huh. he, he's like you like. I don't know if y'all all like him. Tall. I like men. I like all men. But I know you're an ass man. I'm an ass man. But I like all. I think you know. I think there's something cute about all men. Well, you have to ask for Mr. Smith. What you Mr. mean, ask for? Smith? You you walk in the stack and yeah. you say, "Where's Mr. Smith?" Uh huh. Okay. And then he shows up at your table and he yeah. is turning tricks. He is uh, he's very sexy. He is. The, Who would the, play him on, in a TV movie? Ooh, a young um, Matt, young uh, Marky Mark. Okay. All right. Yeah, Mr. Smith. Yeah, and well, he wears glasses the whole time. We've got oh, a weekend I love book. That. That's what. Why that's, not? Let's do it. And this is in Seattle. Portland, 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 Oregon. Portland, Oregon. Stag, stag. Mr. Smith. Mr. Smith. I ask for him every time I go. Really? Every and time. Is it a, a pro- like in Atlanta they have Swing Richards, Richards and it is a proper gorgeous show bar mm-hmm. where it is. A A plus. Do mm-hmm. they do a bar a show? Oh yeah, no. It's it's like it's like as if if it is like top drawer A plus, chic. There's a stage in the middle. It's, a great it's show beautiful, place. beautiful. Okay. beautiful. Okay. Is stags stag, like that? I mean, it's called stags. It's, it's not. It's not as nice as Swinging <laughs> Richards. And there's like a drag queen wearing an earring the size of a purse on stage. Yeah, yeah. Like, purse first. Stage. Yeah, exactly, yeah, Mr. Right. So and So. Um, but the, but the, the dance, there's a stage. It's not like they're just like cropping around. They don't have bullet hole wounds. There's no stab wounds. Uh-huh. I hate it. They are, they are gorgeous. And they have a litany of men. They have like skinny little twinks. They have mm. big muscle guys. Oh, wow. They have uh, jock type guys. Yeah. Older, younger. And Mr. Smith was was the was ticket. the ticket, right? The actual. What ticket. other cities? I, we we mentioned Swinging Richards in Atlanta mm-hmm. and Stags in Portland. What other cities has Florida had Tropicana? Mm-hmm. Um, what city in Florida? I want to say um, Fort, Fort Lauderdale, Fort Lauderdale, or Miami, Fort around Lickerdale. there. Might be Fort Lauderdale. Uh-huh. On Thursdays, the Monster is a strip bar with a show called Spunk. Wait a minute, hold up, back up, back up, Spunk. back up, Mister Lava. New York City, right in my neighborhood. Uh huh. In the Monster on Thursdays, Thursday nights it's called Spunk. Spunk, because I knew that. Um, because the night I went to see you. I had just been at pieces. pieces. He saw Holly Day, who who hosts uh, Spunk at there. But I love it at the Monster. It's just bigger. There's more people. Oh, so Spunk moves around. And I the, love that right it's called Spunk. But you don't oh. know, Rue. You don't know. They have like, the, you know how drag, how Instagram and everything has changed yeah. the drag game. Yeah, it's changed the stripper game too. How about they have that? like famous strippers, like these infamous. I went there with the cast of All Stars too. I hosted, and then we all went to All Stars. Went to um. Went to Sp- uh, Spunk together, mm-hmm. and there was this 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 guy there who has like a like more Instagram followers than Jesus, uh-huh. and he is this like Brazilian. Is he Mr. Jones? You know, I don't even. Mr. I can't, Smith. I mean, his name was like Mara Villa. <laughs> oh. His name was Mara Villa something or the uh-huh. other, uh-huh. and he and, 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 there was a line. For, to, and he's a Brazilian. He's guy. a Brazilian guy. There was a line to get a lap dance from this guy. Like, oh, shut up! Oh, so oh, he oh. makes hundreds of thousands of. Jobs. They have gorgeous. Uh, gorgeous mm-hmm. strippers in at, Brazil at Spunk at Spunk, at Spunk on in, Thursday nights in New Spunk. York. So Spunk is a traveling strip show. It's yeah. at <laughs> it's at Sunday nights at Pieces. Yeah, and then Wednesday nights, Thursday nights at the Monster. Thursday nights at the Monster, and then it's like three nights. I think it's like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday at a place called Fairy Tale. Where's Fairy Tale? Fairy Tale is a new bar. Girl, we can't uh-huh. keep up. It's on um right off Tenth Avenue at Fifty Nine. Oh, that's why. No, 50, it's all the no, way no, no, up there. 54. 54. 54. Isn't, isn't that where the Intrepid is? No, it's right near, Um, what's it near? There's a bar called Bartini that used to be over there. Wait, okay, what's the, what are those streets again you just said? 54th it's on and 10th, 10th Avenue. Oh, 50th. 9th, 9th, right off, and it's between 9th and 10th uh-huh. on 54th. On 54th. Is that okay. by Studio? No, Studio 54 used to be 54th and Broadway. Right between Broadway and 8th. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. So, um, oh God, the, you got the strip. You know, there needs to be uh, a, a, a RuPaul's Drag Race show called, um, uh, you know, a strip uh, swinging Ri- RuPaul's swinging Richards. I'm into RuPaul's I, swinging dicks. Swinging dicks. I boom. Uh, call call logo, honey. I'm sold. We I'm a green light. Untucked it. for real. I'm a green light. <laughs> <laughs> like no, really. I'm tuck. Swing, swing and tuck. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Well, you are a plethora of ideas and pitches. You got a comedy special you're mm-hmm. filming. You got the uh, Kitty Kitty show. Kitty got a talk show live. Uh-huh. She got she got swinging riches. And then, and, and then there's my brothel. 
And then and there's then the brothel. brothel. Right. Yes. yes. Where Mrs. Bob's brothel. Where Mr. Smith goes to Washington. Go to go to find Mrs. Smith. Yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. Well, Bob the Drag Queen, you are a joy and you are so deserved of the uh, America's next drag superstar. So much talent, so much spunk. Is that the name of that club? Yeah. Oh, spunk. It's yeah. spunk, yeah. You also, got so much spunk. A code word for jizz. No, oh, yeah. that's spooge. No, spunk. Spunk. Yeah. Oh, okay. Spunk's another one. Spunk, spooge, mayonnaise. All that. Yeah. Oh, baby batter. Yeah. All oh, right. Yeah. I guess you get it all up you in there. Drinking them babies. <laughs> AKA dinner. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'll have two spoons, please. Thank you. Yo, nasty. Nasty. Yo, nasty. Oh well, thank you so much, Bob. <laughs> we are going to be looking out for more and bigger and better things coming from you, thank I have you. no doubt. And Michelle Visage. Yes, my darling. Until the next time, my dear. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Can I get an amen? If you can't love yourself. How in the hell you gonna love somebody else? Can I get a name, man? And don't forget to subscribe on iTunes. If you can't love yourself, how in the hell you gonna love somebody else? Amen. Hey, hey,